Hey, what is up there guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of The Evolve. How you guys doing on today? You know what? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. You know, we need to get right into it. Listen, listen, before we get into it, because I can already see y'all in the comments. Listen, I don't want to hear no jokes. I don't want to hear anything about my cowboys. Look, we are still them boys. Next year is going to be our year. I promise you, I can feel it. I can feel it, but... We're not talking about my boys today. But we are talking about the homeboy, R.A. Rugged Man. Because he's got a lot to say. You know what? Now that I think about it, it's, it's becoming like this schedule. Like, you, all, you almost know when Eminem is about to release something or do something big or put out an album. You know by the, the whole atmosphere change, right? I mean, everybody start to come out or start to say stuff whenever there's some stuff revolving around Eminem. I mean, we didn't had we didn't had the Joe podcast and cancel culture. They have um, stated uh, they are mad that Eminem um, is in the Super Bowl, and they said that he is the 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 token white boy. And then we also had on yesterday Benzino he gets on Clubhouse and you know he talks his stuff and he talks about how Eminem is trying to take the credit for hip-hop and we can't let that happen well I, I mean there's always you always know when there's something about to come out and you know recently you know we got Eminem about to perform at the Super Bowl and there's something in the works and I'm about to release something that's going to come out a shocker. But we're not here to talk about that. Today we are talking about R.A. Rugged Man. Now, if you don't know who R.A. is, let me tell you. He was um, he was signed to uh, Jive Records. Yeah, he was signed. He was, he was young. He was like 17 years old. 17, 18 years old. Signed to Jive Records. He has released about three studio albums. And um, you know what? Uh, Biggie Smalls, at, at when when referencing um, and when talking about uh, R.A., Biggie said that man, I thought I was, I thought I was the illest until he kind of heard R.A. So that's something that Biggie said. I mean, R.A. He has did songs and acts with uh, people like M.O.P., Biggie, Brand Nubian, Chuck D. Uh, Mob Deep, Ghostface Killer, who else? Um, Ice T uh, here recently with his recent album, which was in 20, 2020. Yeah. Anyway, Tech Nine, Mac Lethal, uh, all these. So, so just to tell you, Ra, he is no slouch. I mean, he he works his and he has this crazy flair with his videos he goes all out and it gets crazy and he doesn't really care his videos are kind of funny too um whenever you release a music video so like i said he's no slouch uh, um but recently a few days ago he wanted to know why you m fans see y'all been pushing eminem and these polls and everything and you're trying to get him in the hall of fame but anyway um he released a tweet and he wants to know why y'all M fans and y'all stands hate hip hop? Why y'all disrespecting hip hop? What's wrong with y'all? So that's what we're talking about on today. I want to see, do y'all hate hip hop? All right, we're going to see what he's talking about. All right, so um, I think it's important for me to mention um, so that I can put uh, it all out there. Me and R.A., we done had, you know, we done had our moment. I have reacted. There was this song. I think I hope, you didn't really call it a beef, but there's something there. And he came in my comments and we were like back and forth. But it was when he released that song with Lar Jamar, uh, maybe two years ago, or maybe it was a year, uh, The Slayer Club. And he had Brand New Me in on there. And I reacted to the song. And he had a lot of killers on there. And it come to find out that Lord Jamar was the weakest link. 
I said that in my reaction. I said that, man, R.A. killed it. These spitters and all these vents, all of them killed it. But then we got the Lord Jamar, and he's, he, he, he rhymed bread with red and head. It was weird, and it was short, and it was like two seconds, and I talked about that. Well, R.A., he didn't like that, and he, and he posted up this long this long comment in my sections where he said that I and this video is propaganda and hate. Um, and then uh, UK Ice can read it, but if you're reading it, uh, he goes on and he tried he tried to explain why uh, why Lord Jamar's verse was so short um, because they just had four bars and then they each got two. They it was it was weird. Um, he said. Uh, I didn't want my song to be 10 minutes, so I cut it and I had everyone come in and out fast. So, you know, we were con so so because we were constructing a song, which I understood. And he was explaining why um, Lord Jamar's verse was so short and bad. But at the end of the day, that doesn't I don't care about it being short. It was the weakest. It was not good at all, in my opinion, but he didn't like my opinion, so he left this message, and, you know, I was blocked and banned and all that other stuff. And then he ended with, no one, no one believed that Brand Nubian's part was whack, unless you're a hater. <laughs> and no one thought that Lord Jamar's verse... Guys, go listen to it. I may play it right now if I don't think it's going to get copyright. I may test it. If I played it, then that was it. That literally was it. That was the whole verse. So um, so there was there was that. So we had that. And, you know, I couldn't really under... I couldn't... And, you know, I couldn't really understand why he was so mad that I compared... Um, the 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 artists and who was better and who rated higher like they all did good and this one was bad not everybody wins but he was just a little upset that I was talking stuff about Lord Jamar um, and rating him he's like it's not about ratings it's about us just getting on the track rapping and then but then I didn't understand why RA was telling it's not about rating when look at this tweet <laughs> He rated himself obviously higher than Eminem. Look, look, this is what he said. He said, yes, I believe that I'm better than Eminem in my mind. It's not even a question. <laughs> He's like, me versus Eminem? That shouldn't even be a question. People already know. Like, and he, like, he, like, he, 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 he added to it. And then he went on to say that that is the mentality of a real MC. Anyone who looks at this as a diss is not, don't understand hip hop. So he's always, you don't understand hip hop. If you, uh. But anyway, there's that. And then there was this other tweet that he said, oh, me and Eminem, we never had a problem. I just know that I'm better than him, but that's not a problem, is it? <laughs> With me being better than him. So he's been rating himself. So I rated him versus Lamar Jamar. He was the weakest link, but we're not here to talk about that. Let's see what he had to say just two days ago. Bring up the tweet. Um, he said, "Why do so many Eminem stands hate hip hop?" Now let me ask you, Eminem fans, do you all hate hip hop? I mean, where's he going with this? Well, we know where he's going. See. If you are an Eminem fan and Eminem is your favorite hip hop artist, you hate hip hop to these guys. That's basically the definition of hating hip hop because any Eminem fan, they feel, you know, hip hop, hip hop hits, especially our oldies, our OGs, and I hate to say this, but especially our OGs, if you rate if you rank Eminem or your favorite hip hop artist above the other OGs, above Rakim and the Tupac and all of these other guys, then you must hate hip hop. Certainly, if you rate a white boy higher, you hate hip hop. That's all it takes. But let's go on. Let's see. Let's hear what he has to say. He said, Why do they hate hip hop? And he did say, this does not pertain to the actual hip-hop fans who loves Eminem. 
because lots of true um heads uh like eminem love eminem so you see what he did here that's another thing that this side does if you like eminem but i mean if you like he said if you love eminem but he's not your favorite artist you've got like an iced tea your favorite artist then hey he's not talking about you see guys as long as he's not you're not saying that he's the best in hip-hop you can say that jay-z is the best in hip-hop you don't hate hip-hop you can say um i don't know you can say kendrick lamar this is a young new guy they're not gonna call you a hater if you say a white boy is but let's move on the next part of it is I'm talking about the weirdo stand boys who know zero about the culture. Mm, okay, so now he's explaining himself. He's talking about the ones that get inside of hip hop that just only that is only inside of hip hop because of Eminem. And don't care about any other thing. Don't care about the culture or any of the other stuff and don't know well he said don't know and don't understand here's my thing with that i get the argument there i mean there has to be a respect for the culture i mean you can't you I, I, yeah i get it you can't just you know come in someone's house and say yo i love your wife i'm gonna respect her but then the kids and the dad and everything else in this household you know you forget about and you don't care to listen to and respect because the mom because the wife you know invited you in and the no one else the dad and the kids and no one else sent you an invite to their home so you're only going to respect yeah you can't do that there has to be a respect but even in that scenario, in that example that I just give right there, when you are invited in that home, when you are invited by, let's say it was that wife. Okay, so you have respect from there because you know and you understand her. Now that you're in the home, you don't just automatically know everything about the kids and their names and their dad. Like, it does take time. It takes trust and respect that you built right with the wife, too. And I say that to say this, that Eminem and a lot of people and a lot of white fans and, 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 and Asians and everyone, I mean, you know, have came in hip hop because of Eminem, because of Eminem's, I guess you can say, invite. They are, they have learned and appreciated because of Eminem. We got to, but you can't expect these new people that have came in to already know about husband Rakim, kid Ice T, to know and respect all of these that they, they're new to this. And even when they learn and know of, of these people, you know, they still got a, they still got the choice to say, hey, I like your kid. No, he's a bad kid, snot nose and whatnot. I, I hope this example kind of explain what I'm trying to say here to RA and people that think like him. Like, yeah, he brung in a lot. And yeah, you're right on one end that there has to be a respect and at least try to learn. But then on the other side, there has got to be an understanding that this, that they don't, a lot of these that came, they don't know. And no one knows everything. I don't know, even the hip hop is, they don't know everything about everything. All right, but to just pass off someone as a hater, because their favorite artist in this genre that and this genre is an Eminem just happened to be a white boy doesn't mean they hate the household. Does it? 
hey, your wife is my favorite. <laughs> I should have said the day. <laughs> but does it mean that we hate the kids and we hate the household and what you're doing and the house and how the plants and everything? We just like the wife better. <laughs> And that's okay, it don't mean. And then he goes on, they have no respect for it and they seem to dislike it. See, we gotta go overboard. And this is what that side does. If you don't like, if you don't know of the OGs and you only know of Eminem and you say that he's the greatest, you dislike and you disrespect hip hop. No, we just, we're in this home together. We're all in this together and we enjoy this part more than the others. All right, it's okay. Yeah, we know that Eminem is my favorite artist, but I've said my top five, you know, what, what was it? Empire, Nas, Rakim, Joyner. Yeah, but anyway, we're not here to talk about that, people. Um, Lil Wayne, six, yeah, Lil Wayne, six. But anyway, um, I just want to I just wanted to put that out there because I've I seen this tweet that he put out maybe like three days ago, two or three days ago. And I was like, man, why do that side always, you know, feel that Eminem fans and Eminem fans hate and dislike just because they like him more than the other people in hip hop? You can't just like y'all don't want M fans to force M on y'all. Y'all can't force the OGs on them. You can't force, you can't force the culture on them. This is what they like in hip hop. M is a part of hip hop and they like this part. It's all right, it don't mean that they hate. There are parts of hip hop that you like and dislike and no one calls you a hater and say you disrespect. Okay? Let's get it together, guys. We're all together in this hip hop thing. It's been a lot of fun, but I'm glad I got to address it. I like to know what you all think. Was I on point? Was I a little off? How do you all feel? I actually really want to know. I'm reading all of your comments, people. I read all of your comments. I really do. I take the time at night and um, like to know other people's opinion and how they defer. As always, man, I thank you guys so much. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. That keeps me wanting to, you know, dish out more and more content for you guys. I've been, I've been away. I've been doing like once a week, but I'm like, I need to get back. You guys have been saying, hey, Evolve, we need a voice of reasoning. We miss you. More videos, more uploads. I got you. I don't want, but if I swear, I swear. All right, I ain't gonna swear, but I promise I'm not. But let me just say, I better not see anything about my Cowboys. All right, can we let it go? Next year is going to be our year. See y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.